Hi, my name is Samtu Arakwe and I'm a pharmacy student at Albany College of Pharmacy, class of 2015. Today I'll be talking about the intravenous drug administration systems here at Porter Medical Center. We'll be focusing on four main systems here. At Porter they use the Advantage, the Duplex, the Premixed, and the medications that are mixed by the pharmacy. And I'll go into details involving each of these steps and I have a video that's going to explain the activation process for the first two, the Advantage and the Duplex system. The Advantage system here at Porter in Meditech, it is called pre-attached because the pharmacy pre-attaches the, uh, the medication to the diluent before sending it to the floor. And this is also for several reasons. Um, it distinguishes it from other systems and also for building purposes and Meditech as well. Uh, one key thing with this uh, system is to make sure that it is activated prior to infusing the medication because even though it is attached, the medication is not yet mixed into the diluent, so it needs to be um, into the vehicle, so it needs to be activated prior to dilution. The picture on the bottom here shows how the medication does come. It comes separated from the vehicle, so it has to be attached, and once attached, it will look like the picture on the top, uh, top right corner. The stability of the medication once activated, for example, in the azithromycin case, is 24 hours at room temperature, and if it is refrigerated, it is good for seven days. And again, this might vary from medication to medication, so just make sure that you always double check with the pharmacy when you have a question, or check the package inserts or the information label on the medication, because the manufacturer might put um, storage uh, methods and their um, expiration dates or when they good deal. One key problem that tends to occur with this um, advantage system is when a nurse or pharmacist goes to activate the system and then it fails to activate. Um, key thing here is that it can actually put it back. So when it fails to activate, just manipulate the cap back into the rubber stopper and repeat the activation process again. That usually would like break the seal and um, activate the medications. Sometimes it might be an issue because um, if you put it or try to activate it several times, the bag might become leaky. Then at that point, the medication becomes wasted. Location of the uh, Advantage system it is mainly in Pixels, except in SKU. In SKU, the medication is delivered to them by the pharmacist. But whenever in doubt, just check the Pixels or always contact the pharmacy to just make sure. But preparation as easy as one two, three. Grasp the pull ring on the vial. Pull it over the top and away from the vial to unwrap the seal strip. Then pull straight up to remove the outer cap. Avoid touching the rubber stopper and vial screw-in threads. Next, gently grasp the pull ring tab on the diluent container. Pull up to break the tie membrane. Then pull back to completely remove the cover. Avoid touching the inside of the vial port. Now, screw the drug vial into the diluent container's vial port until it will not turn any further. Recheck to ensure both components are tightly screwed together, then label the container as appropriate. Grasp the top of the drug vial and push it down into the container. Then, grasp the vial's inner cap or plug through the walls of the diluent container. Now, firmly pull straight down on the plug taking care not to wiggle it from side to side until it has been pulled completely free of the vial. You should now see the plug floating freely inside the diluent container and the contents of the drug vial beginning to fall into the diluent fluid. These visual cues indicate that the Advantage system has successfully been activated and is now ready to be mixed and administered to the patient. Gently shake the container to thoroughly mix the drug into the diluent Visually inspect the vial to verify that its contents have been completely empty. When mixing is complete, firmly squeeze the container to check for leaks and discard container if leaks are discovered. Grasp the ring on the top of the vial and pull to use as a hanger. Finally, remove the white cover from the administration port and spike the container with the piercing pin. The Advantage system is now ready for use. And again, uh, the key thing with this system is just 
make sure that it is activated prior to infusing it to the patient because there has been errors where the medication was not activated and the patient ended up receiving just the vehicle and not any of the medication. Uh, this is just a pamphlet, a just brief illustration of on how to activate the medication. It goes over the exact same thing that the video just went over. In Meditech, um, when you're looking at another Meditech, this is how it appears. Like the azithromycin is pre-attached. That means it's an advantage system. And all the nurses have to worry about is the activation process. And again, make sure it's activated prior to infusing. Pharmacy does um, attach an auxiliary label onto the uh, medication that also reminds you to activate it prior to um, administration to the patient. In December 8th of last year, a male patient was in the ED and he was to receive an advantage vial of azithromycin. The, nurse, the ED nurse hung the medication and infused the medication but failed to activate the system. So the patient ended up receiving just a normal saline and no drug in the solution. So this is an error that could occur with this system if it's not activated prior to infusion. And on the next system is the duplex system. It's called the pill, pop, and check, and that deals with the activation of the system. In the duplex system, the drug powder and the diluent or the vehicle are already in one bag. All you have to do to activate the system is to break the seals between each compartment, and breaking those seals activates the whole system and ensure, um, leads to um, the delivery of the drug to the patient. One key thing with the system is that it cannot be um, connected in a series connection. No additives can be added to it. And also, do not freeze this system. And also, make sure that only use it if the solution in it is clear. The stability once it's activated is very similar to the Advantage system. For example, the Cephazolin and the Ceftriaxone, they are good for 24 hours at room temperature and also seven days once refrigerated. And again, whenever in doubt, just double check with the pharmacy about how stable the medication could be, or look at the product for manufacturer instructions on the stability of it. The duplex system can be found in Texas here at Porter Medical Center. Folded duplex container until the seal between the drug 
one solution and set port opens, releasing liquid into the set port. Using aseptic technique, remove the foil tab cover from the set port and attach a sterile administration set. Refer to the directions for use that accompanies the administration set. There are some important precautions to remember when working with only if the prepared solution is clear and free of particulate matter. Do not use duplex in series connection. Do not introduce additives into the duplex container. And lastly, do not freeze duplex. Okay, the main thing with the system is that it does use the air pockets in the drug uh, in the diluent uh, container to break the seals at each, uh, each step of the process. Again, the system has an advantage over the advantage system because it has to be activated and the drug and the diluent mixed prior to um, infusing it to the patient. So the key thing to watch for is to make sure that the solution is clear prior to activating it and uh, during the mixing process that everything is completely mixed and all the activation processes are complete before hanging it and um, piercing the set port. In Meditech, duplex does have, um, the, that's the drug, the ceftriaxone, then it, it will tell you next to it a duplex. That is an indication that tell you that the drug comes as a duplex and that's how you can um, find it if you were looking for it. And again, it is in the pixels in most locations. And the next system is the premix. These are IV preparations that come with the additives added in them already. Some examples are the potassium chloride, the metronidazole, and dopamine. They are stable for a longer duration of period because they are manufactured by the manufacturers but some of them do have some special handling uh, te techniques. For instance, the piperacillin tizobactin, the zosin, that comes to the pharmacy frozen and it has to be thawed. Be and, and when you move it to the floor, it is refrigerated. And the thawing of this medication, it cannot be thawed in a microwave or a warm bath because that um, deals with the stability of the drug. So again, it has to be taught by living it at room temperature and move to the floor and, and stored in the refrigerator. The system, the drug is stable for 14 days after it has been thawed and it cannot be refrozen once thawed. The beyond use date on this medication is also provided by the manufacturer. So just again, whenever in doubt, just check with the pharmacy or check with the medication itself. The premix system does come in several volumes so they might have different drugs available in this system. They can be found in Pixis mainly or in the, or in the refrigerator for the piperacillin. So you just, whenever in doubt about where the medication is, just double check Pixis. If it's not there, just check with the pharmacist and then we could be able to help you. In Meditech, the medication is displayed as the, the drug, the potassium chloride, plus whatever um, this normal saline or any other to do and like D5W that is in it. So it just tells you the plus sign next to them. And that's how it does um, show in Meditech. And finally, the, this system is the ones that are mixed by the pharmacy. This also does include any of the drugs that are available in the systems that I have mentioned above. So these are parental preparations that are mixed and prepared by the pharmacy. And they are stored usually here at Porter. The stability is for 24 hours, but it can be um, stored for a longer period of time. But the pharmacy will provide the uh, storage location and the beyond use date for that medication. The pharmacy always adds a label that includes what adjective has been added. Like if there was a bag of D5W and a potassium chloride was added, they would add a, uh, a label 
um, telling you potassium chloride added and the amount of potassium chloride that is in the mixture. F examples of the medications that are currently being mixed by the pharmacy are uh, acyclovir, cefepine, magnesium doxycycline, vancomycin, and azithromycin, the duplex bags. We're currently in back order right now, so that's actually being mixed right now by the pharmacy currently. These medications can be found in the patient's bin or sometimes they could be stored in the refrigerator depending on when it's needed and when it's going to be infused. And in Meditech, this is how it is deployed. It tells you the drug and the vehicle or the diluent that it is in, like for instance the magnesium sulfate and sodium chloride. And this is just uh, information to the pharmacist about how to mix it. Like you put 4 mLs of magnesium chloride in 96 mLs of sodium chloride. And this is just a label for the pharmacist. And we always double check the calculations. Even though Meditech does do the calculations for us, we always double check it just to make sure it's correct. Um, these are some errors that have occurred here with the IV bag was hung but was not infused. In November 16th of last year, 2014, a 76-year-old med surge patient was supposed to receive a Premaxin IV, 500 milligrams every eight hours. The nurse hung the uh, antibiotic, but never infused it, and this was found by a, a different nurse that wanted to check on it. And then the second one uh, was on October 5th, 2014. An 86-year-old med surge patient was supposed to receive Zosin. The bag was hung but was never infused. And it was noticed that the patient never got the dose when they were doing rounding and then found out that the bag was just hung and was never infused. Some precautions to be aware of is that some of these medications that are stored in the fridge, just make sure you allow yourself enough time to make sure that the drug Accumulate, uh, acclimate, acc acclimates to room temperature and this is just um, for patient safety and there's several reasons because you don't want to infuse a cold medication into a patient's vein so just make sure you give yourself enough time to make sure that the drug does, get, uh, does warm up to room temperature and also again some of these medications cannot be put in the microwave or in a warm water bath. So again, just allow yourself a little to make sure that it does actually make to room temperature. Any questions?